Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Texas Magic. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Um, you know, whatever time it is that you actually see this video, but yeah, I, it is morning. That's all I can tell <clears throat> by the lights. But yeah, welcome back to Texas Magic. Hello, Magical Family. I am actually here to read for my air signs for the new year. Um, I do still owe my fire signs a part two, and I'm going to get to that. I'll try to get that out sometime today as well. But let me go ahead and get my air signs. What's going on for my air signs for 2023? Yes, I know we are already in the year, but what's the overall, what's the general, what's the general, um, okay, that flew out. Seven of Wands. Y'all working hard this year, air signs. Y'all are determined to go out there and get what you want. You're determined to live, you know, the lifestyle that you want. You may be definitely all and you continue to persevere. And you will continue to persevere. So this year for you is about um continue to persevere, to continue to walk as a boss. I always love the seven of wands card. Like look how high her her head is. Like I love this card so much. Like this lady is walking with some authority. You know what I'm saying? And she ain't got that one in her hand for nothing. That's not just for looks. It's to clump the shit out of somebody if she has to. <laughs> okay, well, air signs, well, you have to get their ass with that wand. You feel me? <laughs> All right, Eight of Pentacles, y'all working on the bag. Y'all working on the big bag this year. 20, 2023 is a big bag. It's in store. Y'all are working on Y'all are hard working. Y'all are working hard on a big bag. And it is, it's coming. It was a hard on the big bad for 2023 air signs. Right. Two cards came out. Five of Wands and uh the Queen of Cups. I think I got the five of wands for um for my fire signs as well. Be careful because some of y'all could be getting into some physical altercations. <laughs> that's, that's um use the sign of some type of confusion, some type of uh dramatic situation that could lead with, I mean that could result with somebody getting their hands put on or y'all putting your hands somebody putting their hands on you or you putting your hands on somebody else so totally be careful in that area because I know that's not what y'all looking for especially while y'all out here um securing this big ass bag like you know what I'm saying like nah nah we I know you you know we fight for what we want to a degree, but we don't want this particular fight with this five of wands. You know what I mean? Um, also, I have the queen of cups on the table that fell out. So, a lot of y'all are uh, moving with your heart on your sleeve. You know, trying to be a little bit more loving. Y'all are already, you know, a lot of y'all probably already pretty giving. But, um, uh, and it also might be a love offering. You might have somebody coming in with a love offering for you this year for 2023. I'm definitely gonna clarify for your air signs. All right, let's see what, see what I got here. I also have the Queen of Pentacles, so two queens on the table. All right, big money, that's what I'm saying. Big money, living in luxury. 2023 is the time for you to live in luxury, air signs, luxury, luxury. Libra, Libra Aquarius, and um, Gemini. It's time for y'all to live in luxury. It's time for y'all to live abundantly um, unapologetically, like, disrespectfully, like, I mean, why not? You only get one life. Don't worry about trying to take nobody with y'all, okay? Like, heavy on that, like, don't worry about it. Like, if they not, if they're not moving how you move, um, Move around. It's not about potential. It's about productivity. It's not about potential. Potential is for kids. Potential is for kids. I just feel like I need to tell y'all that every time. Don't worry about potential. If they're not doing it, then it's nothing. It's nothing. Move them around. Move them along. Move them along, okay? Let's see what else I got for my air signs. Lots of cars keep popping out. I'm not gonna take all of this. <laughs> What's going on for my air sign? What you got going on? What's going on for 2023 for my air sign? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. What's going on for you guys? 
2023 is playing in. All right, so I have the Two of Cups. Like some of you might be having in some type of uh, relationship might be coming in for you. Uh, some type of partnership might be coming in for you. Um, definitely emotional union. Um, that could be good for you. You know what I'm saying? But I also have a ten of swords on the on the on the, on the deck on the on the um, table. <clears throat> I don't want you guys walking around feeling like you failed or you missed out on something because. That the ten of swords definitely rep represents some type of failure, some type of uh, mental blockage, some type of you you kind of being stuck in your ways or not stuck in your ways. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of feeling defeated, feeling depressed, feeling overwhelmed for 2023. Just um, for a portion, you know what I mean? For some of you, you might be feeling a little overwhelmed and not clarify to see why that is. <clears throat> Let me one more card. Let me generate energy of my, my air signs. Of the air signs. All right, King of Cups, King of Cups energy. Like, see, none of this, none of, it doesn't even matter. So you might feel overwhelmed, but at the same time, you're going to jump back in the saddle. <laughs> and it's so funny that I said that because, like, he's literally in the saddle. You know what I'm saying? You're going to jump back in the saddle. Or jump, he's not in the saddle, but, you know, he's on top of this. He's riding this big-ass cat. And, um... You're gonna get back in the side, or you're gonna control your emotions. You're gonna control your emotions, excuse me, and you're gonna make sure happy. Because remember, right now you're working on securing a big bag. You are known for persevering, okay? Getting shit done, still walking with your head high, even after a tough ass battle. You still walking with your head high. That's what you do. That's what we continue to do. That's what you continue to do. Like, even her cats look, you know what I'm saying, like, they high and mighty. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is what you do, Air Signs. You keep walking with your head high. You keep staying uplifted. All right, you got Queen of Pentacles energy on the table. Queen of Cups energy on the table. And then I said, I'm sorry, I said King of Cups, and I meant Knight. Of cups. My apologies. This is a the night of cups. So some of you might have some type of offering coming in. Somebody might be trying to come and offer you some love um, this year. Somebody might be coming to offer you their heart. Let me sleep. Somebody might to offer you some love. Air signs. It's possibly a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But hey. You know. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see all the seven of wands on the table. Why is the seven of wands on the table for my air signs? Why is the seven of wands on the table for my air signs? Why is the seven of wands on the table for my air signs? Why is the seven of wands on the table for my air signs? Why is the seven of wands on the table for my air signs? Why is the seven of wands on the table for my air signs? I see something in here. They're jumping out. They are jumping out. There are two, so I'll take them both. <clears throat> All right, so I got the Empress and the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> All right, so man, yeah, like I man, right? And it, 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 it's so fitting. It's so fitting, air signs. You walking with your head high. You persevering. You know what I'm saying? You got abundance you you so full of growth you so full of you know what i'm saying great ideas that like you know what i'm saying once they they take root they start growing really really growing you know what i'm saying they start like like dang i just thought this and tomorrow like the, in the next few minutes that's something like really shot out like because you can persevere like the rose in the concrete you know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. Like, the rose in the concrete. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is serious. And then I have the four of pentacles um, attached to it. Y'all are good at um, holding in your money. You know what I'm saying? You are so good at holding on to your money. You know what I'm saying? Almost in, like, some of you almost in kind of a selfish, kind of a stingy way. Don't be greedy. 
Don't be greedy, air signs. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Because some of y'all are cuffing the money and then like getting more, but in a in a in a kind of kind of greedy way. Because like all of the four of ones cards don't quite look like this, but look at her face. Like this person's face looks like don't touch my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like holding on to that shit for dear life. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, get your money, invest your money, um, save your money, but don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Continue to persevere. It's gonna, it's gonna keep coming to you because your ideas, you form them in your head, and they're gonna sprout. They're gonna start. They're gonna take off. They're gonna grow. You're gonna grow air signs. So keep doing that. Don't be greedy though. Okay, for some of you, I just want to tell you, don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. There's no need. There's absolutely no need to be greedy. Why is the Eight of Pentacles on the table? Why is the Eight of Pentacles on the table? Why is the Eight of Pentacles on the table? Why is the Eight of Pentacles on the table? Why is the Eight of Pentacles on the table? Why is the Eight of Pentacles on the table? Air signs. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? What kind of bag are you chasing? I had one of the on the floor. All right, so that the page of cups. Let me not let y'all see the card. All right, so I got a page of cups here. So with the page of cups, a lot of y'all are, oh y'all learning to channel y'all emotions while chasing this bag. Hmm. So the big bag is on its way because a lot of y'all are learning how to control your emotions probably before you even get this big bag. Um, try to either figure out how you should invest it or figuring out um, how you should use it. Should you help somebody else? Um, like, you kind of have, you kind of like going through a moment first. It's coming, but you're going through a moment first. But maybe it's because of this four of pentacles energy. You know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody's being a little greedy or somebody's um, holding it so tight to where they um, they can't make any, they can't make, they're not making any clear investments. Even though the Four of Pentacles is usually a sign that you have made great investments and that your money is right there. You know what I'm saying? And you, you're able to move freely, but a lot of times, but they're scared to use it. They're scared to spend it. You know what I mean? And maybe that's, You're trying to figure out, like, you're right now, you're going through a moment of, you know, um, not being fearful of money. You know what I'm saying? Don't be fearful of it. When you get it, um, you're going to be able to make the best decisions because with this page of coach, you, you're going to be able to, you, you, you have, you're, you're channeling, you're learning how to definitely channel those emotions. You definitely learn how to channel those emotions with this page of cups. Time, you're gonna figure it out so when that big bag comes you just you're in a good place um you're not putting it all in the wrong hands or you know spending it up on some bullshit or stacking it under your pillow or under your mattress and just letting it sit there you know what i'm saying you're actually gonna use it wisely <clears throat> king of colors on the table for the five of ones don't be fighting over no um person Air signs. Don't be out here fighting over no person. Don't be out here fighting over a person. Don't be out here fighting over a relationship. Okay? This is the first thing that comes to my mind. A king of cups on the table with the five of wands makes me think that y'all gonna be throwing hands over a relationship. Don't do that. Don't do that. And that might just be for a small portion. You know what I'm saying? Male or female, it doesn't matter. Masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. Don't be fighting. Don't be throwing hands <laughs> over no relationship, y'all. Like, I don't care. Like, find another route. Find another route. Because you got too much stuff to lose. You got too much stuff at hand. You don't have time to be throwing hands over no man or no woman. 
No, absolutely not. Do not let people play with your heart and with your emotions, man. Let them know that you're a boss. And bosses don't have time for this tomfoolery. I see a little fighting behind a relationship. Like I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to interpret uh, in another way. Like, okay, if they're not in a relationship, then what? You know what I'm saying? But if that's the case, <clears throat> don't control your emotions, okay? If you're not in a relationship, control your emotions. Don't let your emotions get you so upset where you're out here fighting with people over their opinion or yours, over your thought process or theirs. Don't. If a mo if a person say two plus two is five, let them say let, let it be five for them. Let it be five for them. So what? That have nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. Your lane is here with this Empress energy, this Seven of Wands energy, this Eight of Pentacles energy, this Page of Cups energy. You're learning how to get your emotions in check. So don't do it. If you learn how to get your emotions in check for, for, net, for like your finances, you just learn how to get them in check for everything else. Control them. Control them. All right. Now, for the Queen of Wands, let's clarify the Queen of Cups. Get out your feelings. Okay? Don't offer nobody shit. Okay. <laughs> Don't offer nobody nothing. No, it's not the time. Right now is the time, just like I just told the water signs. It is time to be your yourself like a motherfucker. Like it's time to be yourself. It's time to be so you, it's time to be feisty. It's time to be happy. It's time to be a little flirty. It's time to, you know what I'm saying? Put that shit on or take that shit off. Like, Queen of Wands. I love Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is actually represents, you know, representative of the fire signs. And I'm a fire sign myself. I'm a Sagittarius, a Sagittarius sign, you know? So, like, <clears throat> Don't get nobody shit. Don't offer nobody nothing. Don't offer nobody nothing. You're not helping nobody 2023. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're not helping nobody who doesn't want to help themselves. That's what we're doing. We're not running in cycles. We're not running in circles. It's time to bust a straight. Well, every now and then a little turn or a curve or a duck off, but no circles. No circles. No circles. No circles, air signs. Why is the Queen of Pentacles on the table? Why is the Queen of Pentacles on the table? What kind of luxury? Why is the Queen of Pentacles on the table? Why is the Queen of Pentacles on the table? Why is the Queen of Pentacles on the table? Why is the Queen of Pentacles on the table? Because it's time for you to greet. Your justice. It's time for you to reap your 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 karmic justice. Air signs. Y'all put some good ass energy out there. Y'all have put some good energy out out there. Y'all have. Y'all have. If you haven't, air sign, you know you've been out here showing your ass. Then hey, I'm not talking to you. Okay, this might not resonate for you. You know that you've been showing your ass. It's not for you. Okay, because. It's just collectively, so you know it's not it's not gonna touch everybody's soul. But for the ones who have put that good juju out there into the universe, that this it is coming back around for you. The most high the universe, whatever you believe in, saw everything that you was doing. Everything that you was doing from your pure from your heart, everything that you was doing, everything that you felt like wasn't coming back to you from the actual person or whatever that you was doing it for, it still did not go unnoticed. And it is time for you to reap those benefits. They're coming back around. They're coming back around. You are deserving of them. No matter what anybody else says, nobody gets to say, you are deserving. You are deserving. 
<clears throat> you are deserving. You are deserving. You are deserving. All right. So I got two cards that popped out for the two of cups. Okay. Oh, God. Listen, 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 listen. Linda, listen. Listen, air signs. God damn. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. What the hell? Two of cups. Partnership. You know, situationship. Bond. But then we get the three of swords and the high priestess. <laughs> I'm sorry, I always laugh at the craziest times. This is not the time to laugh. This is like, what the hell? I'm, I'm laughing because I'm like, okay, I thought we were going to get some good stuff. Like, I thought my air signs was going to go into a partnership, situationship. But it seems like there is a partnership that is coming your way that might not be trustworthy. Because I got the three of swords here. Yeah, the high priestess. So my high priestess is saying that there's some secrets that are about to be revealed about this partnership. Something's about to come to the light about this partnership. Um, or not, maybe not even come to the light. Yeah, because everything that's in the dark it, it eventually comes to the light. So um, there are definitely some secrets about this partnership. There's some slick shit about this partnership with these three of swords. Like... Be weary. Be weary. Like, pay attention. Like, I, I love these cards so much because look at the cat. The cat's like, I will bite this shit out of anybody right about now. Right about now. Like, they, the cat got a sword in front of him. Like, he gonna pick it up and start swinging it. Because you got some shady things around you. You got some, um... Something that's follow your intuition. Um, that gut feeling that you have about somebody, some some somebody, yeah, not something. That that gut feeling that you have about somebody, believe it. Believe it. Um, especially when it comes to maybe a business partnership or even a romantic partnership. Believe it. Um, and maybe that's what I was saying about this King of Cups and the um, Five of Wands. Like, the, the, the fighting. The fighting. Fighting over a relationship or fighting over, you know what I'm saying, you're, you're not being heard or, um, or something of that nature. And, yeah, be weary. Um, pay attention to who you're around. But that good says, believe it. Why is the ten of swords on the table? Okay. Because you're feeling trapped. The eight of swords. You're literally doing this to yourself. I'm. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm always laughing at the wrong. <laughs> I'm always laughing at the time when it's supposed to be serious. Self. But listen, you're doing this to yourself. Like you like. Got yourself like hemmed up. And if you got yourself hemmed up, you need to see what's going on. What's the root cause? Like what what it what's are, are you speaking from a place of fear? Um, do you have something going on that you have not uh, actually looked in the mirror and took responsibility for, held yourself accountable for? Um but you got yourself in a mental prison. Guess seven minutes of prison air signs. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, you got yourself on a huge ass guilt trip. You don't owe nobody shit. You don't owe nobody shit. You don't owe nobody anything. Like, I feel like I need to tell you that. Like, you don't owe nobody nothing. You don't owe anybody anything except for yourself. If you have kids, you probably, you know, your kids. But, you know, that's, that's obvious. You know what I'm saying? But anybody outside of that, you don't owe them anything. Everybody living their own life. You don't owe nobody nothing. Except for yourself. If you're in a partnership, you you know what I'm saying? You 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 know you owe people honesty. You know what I'm saying? You owe people the best version of yourself. How about that? It's the only thing you owe people. The best version of yourself. The highest version that you can see yourself being. That's all you owe them. Success, a successful, prosperous, happy. Blossoming you. That's all that you owe them. That is all. Because that energy radiates. That energy radiates. Just like negative energy radiates. Positive energy radiates too. 
That's all you owe them. Bring success around them. Bring happiness around them. And the ones that um, appreciate that, they're going to stay. And the ones that are jealous of it, they're going to move around. Sometimes. Sometimes they're going to move around. Sometimes they'll stay their ass right there to see if they can ride the coattail. But don't let them ride the coattail. Why is the Knight of Cups on the table? Why is the Knight of Cups on the table? Don't let them ride your coattail, I guess. I don't let the motherfuckers ride y'all coattails. Okay? I don't care if it's long as hell. Don't let them ride your coattail. Make them work. All right. Got the Knight of Cups. Ten of Wands to clarify the, ten, the Knight of Cups. Y'all feel so burdened. It's like, y'all feel so burdened and overwhelmed. And it's just like I said, like, you can't, you don't owe nobody nothing. You don't owe nobody anything. Even the person, even whoever this is that's coming to offer you, whatever they're coming to offer you, they're always going to make you, they, they make you feel overwhelmed. They make you feel burdened. That's why I said it might be like a word of time. I'm sorry, I keep saying word of time because of the, the cups. But, um... This person makes you feel burdened. This person makes you feel like they're, they're just a huge responsibility or a huge load or whatever this may be. If it's not a person, um, this particular um thing that, that's gonna keep coming back towards you is gonna it, it's just it's too it's too burden. It's too much of a burden. You know what I'm saying? It's too hard. You you, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's it's physically, because these are ones, these are not um these are not the sores. These are the ones. So this is physically wearing you down. Some of you probably tired as hell. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, just feeling, you know, fatigued, sleepy, rest. Some of you feeling restless. Some of you know what I'm saying? Like this is a, a, a physical drain. This is, you know what I'm saying? This is physically. Some of you might be getting sick or, you know what I'm saying? Because you are the ten of ones. You are the complete. You're like. Fed up. You know what I'm saying? You're fed up. Yeah. Listen, air signs. Y'all too bossed up for me. Y'all too bossed up. Y'all too creative. Y'all too creative. Like, y'all ideas are great. Like, it's no way. It's no way. It's no way. Like these cards on the table for 2023. I see money, but I see torment. You know what I'm saying? I see there's some torment in this year. And that's not what we're doing. I see a lot of self-torment. I see a lot of things happening because of lack of controlling of your emotions and you know your mental. I know. That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. All right? All right, so let me... I got to pull a few cards just for love. Let me give you some love cards for 2023. I'll put out three love cards for 2023. This one just fell on the floor. Thank you. What's up with my love with my air signs? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. What's up with love with my air signs? I got one on the floor. I just need two more. Yes, that one. I could be a rapper. Okay, let me get one more. <laughs> this is interesting. Um, air signs for a love, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's very interesting. So, I have the, the justice card. This is one that flew out on the floor. Um, the justice card on the table for love. Oh, gosh, like, that's this is it's very interesting because I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that, uh, Something is coming back around for you. Um, it's 
some type of balance, some type of balance in your love life. There's going to be some type of balance in your love life. Um, and, it's, and, and, and it's hard to explain it because right beside it is the death card. So it's almost like, okay, what kind of balance is going to come with the death card? But I mean, because the death card means some type of ending, you know what I'm saying? Some type of transformation, a metamorphosis of sorts. You know what I'm saying? You're... Your relationship is about to change drastically. Um, follow and, and, and that's going to balance out your love life. And once that happens, right? Listen, like, hear me out. Yo. Got the ace of wands on the table. This just means new, new. You know what I'm saying? Like, Some of y'all about to, if you're in a relationship, if you're in a relationship, things about to smooth the fuck out. And that shit about to go through some type of transformation. And y'all going to look at each other with some new mother, excuse me, some newfound passion. Y'all going to look at each other with some newfound love. Like, y'all going to be like, looking at each other like, when y'all saw each other for the first time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Butterflies in your stomach type of energy right here on the table right like this, this is how it feels to me you know all together like balance it out like let's balance it out with transformation and oh okay i see and if you're single and you're looking to mingle it's the same your life is about your love life is about to balance out it's about to you know what i'm saying like it's gonna be a balance for you. It's gonna it's gonna feel good to be able to transact transition into your authentic self, um, because some new new about to come in. Okay, some new new is about to come in, and you you ready for it? You getting in, you getting in gear for that new new? You know what I'm saying? Some new now. Hey, for some it might just be new sex. <laughs> so if you're looking for some new sex, that's coming too. That's coming. You know what I'm saying? Because Ace of Wands does not always guarantee um, a relationship. Just guarantees new passion. You know what I'm saying? New creation. Um, something new. Something new, flashy, pretty coming in. You know what I'm saying? So it could be just a, a new sex thing for some. Um, but for ones that, like I said, are in a relationship, like y'all about to see each other with another set of a new set of eyes all over again, right? But yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Rare signs. I hope it resonated. I hope it resonated.